Orlando Magic HQ was popping. So Magic fans, we are just about two weeks away from this year's NBA draft and Jeff Weltman and this Magic front office can approach this draft in a multitude of ways. The first being that the Magic could try to go ahead and package both of their picks at number six and 11 in order to go ahead and try to add some elite talent to this roster right now. Or this front office can stand pat and they continue to build this young core through the draft and around our two cornerstone pieces in Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner. There's a lot of great talent in this year's draft outside of just the top of the board when you talk about guys like Victor Wembenyama, Scoot Henderson, and Brandon Miller who are the projected top three picks. There's some great talented players outside of just those top three guys in guys like Jarris Walker, Cam Whitmore, Grady Dick, Taylor Hendricks, the list goes on, even the Thompson twins. There's a lot of guys that the Magic can go out there and target, but Magic fans, we're specifically going to be talking about in today's video about Cam Whitmore. So Magic fans, who is Cam Whitmore? And Cam Whitmore, for you guys that do not know, is an 18 year old wing from the University of Villanova. He just finished up his freshman season for the Wildcats. He comes in at about six foot seven, 232 pounds, and he was the Big East Conference Rookie of the Year last year. And while Cam Whitmore did suffer through some lingering injury issues throughout his one loan season at the collegiate level, Cam Whitmore did have an impressive campaign this past season in 26 games for the Wildcats. He averaged 12, 5, and 1 on 48, 34, 70 splits still chipped in about a steal and a half per game and had a player efficiency rating of a 20.5. Let's really talk about Cam Whitmore a little bit more in depth and really talk about some of his strengths offensively speaking because this is exactly where you see the raw potential in Cam Whitmore and the type of NBA talent that he can be at the next level. So offensively speaking, Cam Whitmore is a terrific shot creator. He's a guy who's extremely capable of scoring at all three levels and he's got an ability to create a lot of shots for himself, especially off the dribble and in the pick and roll situation. I think Cam Whitmore's got a very solid handle on the rock and he's got an array of ball handling skills. Probably one of the biggest things anybody will notice about Cam Whitmore is that he's an explosive athlete. This guy can leap out of the gym. He's able to get through and finish through contact above the rim. And that was very evident with his 40 and a half inch vertical that he tested with at this year's NBA combine. Whitmore does a great job cutting back door and moving without the ball towards the rim. He does a great job shooting well over defense when contested and while cam only did shoot 30 percent from behind the arc with three point shots off the dribble when he shoots that between the legs dribble step back that is honestly an absolute thing of beauty and like i said he does do a very good job with making a lot of contested shots as well too now let's talk a little bit more about cam whitmore and his shot chart and no this guy is not a grady dick he's not a 40 percent shooter from behind the arc but he's still a very capable scorer on all three levels as you can see with his three point shot that left wing in both the corners definitely were a lot more efficient for him at the top of the key he struggled mightily and on that right wing he doesn't do a great job with a lot of the mid-range he didn't really take that many attempts but he does have the capability of getting downhill and being an explosive finisher at the rim he's very crafty when finishing down low and his ability to knife through the defense create shots for himself and to really hit a lot of contested shots whether that is down low finishing through contact or shooting above a defender behind the perimeter I think Cam Whitmore does have an array of moves and has a great offensive arsenal that he can continue to develop on and he's just 18 years of age now talking about some of Cam Whitmore's strengths defensively speaking I think with his length his athleticism and a lot of his lateral footwork he has the tools to be a very capable defender at the next level. Watching over a lot more of his tape at Nova this past season, he's got very quick hands defensively and is very twitchy when it comes to knocking the ball away and jumping a lot of passing lanes with a lot of sloppy passes. Whitmore does do a very good job of fighting through contact with defenders down low and a lot of forwards. A lot of times he can hold his own, not only just contest the shot, but when the ball is getting passed down low, he does a great job of knocking the ball away and really timing a lot of those passes. And overall, I think he does a great job just contesting shots and like I said laterally moving his feet and staying in front of the defender when he's trying to get to the rim I think Cam Whitmore does a great job of contesting a lot of those shots and yes even sometimes blocking them now that we've kind of talked about a lot of his strengths now let's actually kind of talk about a couple of his weaknesses and let's go offensively speaking first now the most glaring offensive weakness within Whitmore's game is his 
limited passing ability and the fact that he averaged a two to one turnover to assist ratio that is not very good whatsoever and I'm not going to stress too too much about this because while it is a glaring stat with Cam Whitmore when you go back and watch I think he has the ability to see the floor I think there was a lot more times and more often than not he was just very hesitant with making the right reads and sometimes forcing the ball down low there were opportunities off of a pick and roll where he could have hit a corner three or he could have hit the roll man but more often than not there was just some hesitancy within his game and maybe he took an extra dribble or two a lot of that's going to come with coaching getting ramped up to the speed of the game at the collegiate and at the professional level that's something I don't think I'm going to be stressed about too much long term but maybe you don't even need him to become a reliable passer on a consistent basis and then another weakness within his offensive game is he needs to become a consistent knockdown shooter and this yet again for me is not too much of a glaring issue because while he didn't attempt many shots from the mid range outside of just the analytics of saying that two point shots and mid range shots are the least efficient shots Shots, I think Cam Whitmore does have that potential of being a dynamic scorer on all three levels. He obviously has the offensive skill set. He's got the athleticism to get to the rim, get by defenders, and he also has the ability to knock down off the dribble threes. He's just got to become more used to the speed, continue to work on his craft, and also get with the right coaching system and have the right kind of players around him. But that definitely is a weakness as of right now. And then kind of getting into some of his deficiencies defensively, outside of the fact that he does have have the physical tools and the traits and the athleticism to become a good defender as of right now he does get washed up pretty bad on some screens and he does need to do a better job of actually fighting through contact trying to get over screens and doing a better job of contesting a lot of shots off the pick and roll ball handler overall do I think Cam Whitmore is a phenomenal player and a tremendous prospect who I think has an absolutely very high ceiling at this game at the next level Yes, I do. I think that he's got the tools and the traits to be an above average or an average at least defender in the NBA in day one. And I also do think that he's got the offensive potential to be a multi-time all-star. I think he's got an array of moves and the way he can get downhill, similar to a guy like a Paul George, especially with his explosiveness, reminds me a lot of Paul George from his days back in Indiana. But kind of giving my final verdict and my final thoughts with Cam Whitmore, do I think the Orlando Magic should draft him? I say yes, I absolutely do. He is my absolute 1A most realistic prospect that could potentially drop to the Orlando Magic, right? Like I briefly mentioned earlier, when you talk about the top three in Victor Wembenyama, Scoot Henderson, and in Brandon Miller, that is the consensus for who's going to be gone in the top three. So when you talk about Houston at number four and Detroit at number five, yes, Cam Whitmore could very well be gone on at number four or at number five but there is a possibility that these teams pass up on a guy in Cam Whitmore and there's other prospects that of course Houston and Detroit can target and their own front offices are going to value higher than other people do NBA experts fans and other front offices when you talk about the Thompson twins possibly Grady Dick talk about Jarris Walker Anthony Black the list goes on there's plenty of talent in this year's draft and I do think that Cam Whitmore for me is an absolute steal at number six overall. I think he's got tremendous upside. Like I said, I think he's a phenomenal player and he could be an elite three and D wing in this league, in the game for years to come. Now really talking about where do I see Cam Whitmore fitting with this Orlando Magic team as of right now, I think you would still have a starting five with Markel Fultz and Jalen Suggs in the backcourt alongside Paolo Bancaro, Franz Wagner, and Wendell Carter Jr. And off the bench, I think this is where Cam Whitmore would succeed. You would have Cole Anthony come and off the bench alongside Cam Whitmore, Caleb Houston, possibly the number 11 overall pick, maybe a guy like Taylor Hendricks if he falls to number 11, and that's just a random name I'm throwing out. And then you're still going to talk about guys like Mo Wagner, Bull Bull, Jonathan Isaac, Chuma Okeke, Michael Carter Williams, the list goes on. There's plenty of depth with this roster. And I just think that in year one, Cam Whitmore coming off the bench, really finding his groove at just 18. He will be 19 years of age in July. He can come in, be a guy who can play off the ball and continue to let his athleticism as of right now help him get caught up to the NBA game, the NBA speed as he continues to work on his craft, his offensive arsenal, continue to become a knockdown shooter at the next level and to also really fit 
into this Orlando Magic team, and I think he would just be a terrific fit for what this Magic team needs and that explosiveness that you would see off the bench. I could see him being a terrific player, not just in year one, coming and making an immediate impact with this team, really for the future of this team moving forward. I think he's got true elite 3 and D player in his future in the NBA. But Magic fans, we want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below about the possibility of the Orlando Magic going out there and drafting a guy in Cam Whitmore. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. But Magic fans, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me on the channel out tremendously. Make sure you guys also go ahead and hit that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube. But Magic fans, make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials, especially on Twitter. We're both very active and on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Magic fans, thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, aka BJ, I'm out, y'all. Go Magic, baby. Peace.